So this was taking much too long and I just opened up the door of the chamber. So it's going down to 30 degrees Celsius. I aborted the print, but I will start it again now. So close the door, go to the home menu and uh, just press print. It states now that it's cooling down. Actually, it's on 30 de 32 degrees Celsius and it's going down to 30 degrees Celsius and it will take around 20 minutes it states. So 20 minutes. I will just let the camera run and we will see if this will finish in 20 minutes. So it seems that it already did start two minutes later. It's at 80 minutes now. So let's see. Yes, um, it just leveled the plate like the race 3D E2 does. And now it's waiting and we're waiting too. Okay, did go back to the flicker and brush. Let's see what the nozzle is doing. We are at uh, 236 degrees Celsius. It's heating up to 285. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to stop my phone. Technology. Okay, so it's at 285 degrees. That's for the first layer. So it's now laying down the first layer at uh, 285 degrees Celsius. This is the raft I think it's building because um, this printer is always starting with a raft and then starting with the print on that raft. So, 70 minutes left. I will um, get my gimbal and try to get some footage from within the printer. Just a second. So I'm back with the gimbal. Let's see if we can have a look inside here. As you can see, it's printing the raft. I'm going to stop this and we'll start with measuring the noise. We just uh, looked into the printer with the gimbal and uh, now we're going to measure the noise coming from the printer while printing. Let's see. It does have some peaks at 58 dB but it's printing it around 52 dB on the front fifty two to sixty dB on the side It's 55 to 60 dB on the back. And most of the noise is coming from the print heads here.
Yeah, it's 61 dB here. It's actually the rail sound from the linear rails. Sixty dB. Sixty dB on this side too. On the front, 52 to 57 dB. Okay, so um, we are going to wait this 10 minutes and get out the print and see how it turned out. It's printing the last layers right now. We have two layers left, one minute, and it actually did take 20 minutes. Two minute cooldown and 18 minutes print time. So it's, it is much faster than the Race 3D E2. Uh, Stratus is, is stating that their printer can print four times faster than normal printers in the industry. And uh, actually, if we compare the printing time, it's one third, I think, around one third of what the Race 3D E2 did take in printing this spinner. We will have to look into the quality now. Let's see, it should stop in, yeah, some seconds now. This is the last layer it's printing. And I will then just get off the build plate and uh, we will compare the two spinners. What we also will do later on is use the same material because the PLA from Stratasys is, I think, different in terms of uh, bending strength and, and uh, maybe extrusion temperatures. Um, it is extruding PLA right now in 230, at 230 degrees Celsius. And we will use this one to maybe reprint the spinner with the same material on the Race 3D E2. Okay, last layer. Layer height is uh, 0 0.25 millimeters. It's the same as for the Race 3D E2. Now it's stopped. It's lowering the build plate and it will then unlock the door. You see I cannot open the door right now. Okay, that's it. Get out the print. And um, it's looks like this. You can see the raft. I will peel this off, let's see. You can do the same thing as with the build plate from the Race 3D, so you can bend this and then get it off, like so. Now, just uh, the first look, it looks good. I will remove the raft and uh, we'll compare it to the other spinner file. Yeah, that's it. Do have the two parts here for comparison. And uh, as you can see, I didn't remove the raft yet. We have to put it off. And I know from my other prints that uh, this is actually not an easy task as it would seem. So this is the raft, you can see it. And I will just try to peel it off. It's really, really strong. 
it's adhering really strong. Okay. Maybe I will have to get some knives here. So Stratasys will have to work on that. See this? I cannot remove it. I have to try to scrap it off somehow. Maybe by turning it. Let's see. Okay, I will just uh, get a knife. <laughs> 